using the item extension wizard transaction default mode. Make sure you switch to the right mode using this button. The mode selected needs to match the template name. Using this mode, you'll be able to add transaction defaults to an item, both at sub-inventory and sub-inventory locator levels. This load uses a custom API and you will need to enable this profile option to use this functionality. Enter a list of existing items and their corresponding organization code and then fill in the information for the transaction default. An item can only have one transaction default per organization and transaction type. However, if a locator is provided, then an additional default per organization, transaction type and locator is allowed. A different SEMB inventory is also allowed for this second default. Therefore, a total of one default with a locator is allowed and another without a locator is allowed. You can also enter or complete this dataset using the user form. You can bring up this user form by double-clicking on any cell. The yellow fields are mandatory. This user form will automatically retrieve your Oracle instance information, your list of values. Every time you close a user form, it will perform validation. You can also use the default values row to accelerate your data entry. The value put on row number 10 will default on the blank rows below. And of course, you can always override with a different value for certain items. When your dataset is ready, you can choose to validate only or validate and upload. Then you need to choose if you want to upload a selection, highlight the records you would like to process and choose upload selected, or upload all to upload all rows in the current worksheet. The wizard starts with validation and then process the valid records to Oracle and at the end of the upload, they have the accepted status when successfully created in Oracle. If a record wasn't processed, you will see an error status and message to help you correct your error. Bring up the user form if needed to correct the issue. Use the wildcard percentage when needed to do a partial search. Click on the dots to perform the search. And here you can see the different combinations. You can then reprocess this row by putting your cursor anywhere on the row and choosing Upload Selected. Do the same with a second error if needed. You can also download existing transaction defaults using the item number, for instance. Enter the list of criteria and use the button Download via Sheet. You can then do some updates on these records. The wizard automatically works out if it's a create or update scenario. You can also delete some transaction defaults. Put yes as a default value. To accelerate the data entry, select the rows you would like to delete. Any column can be highlighted and choose Upload Selected to process the deletion. Only the correct records were successfully deleted.